Okay, what's up everybody? Um, ooh, the lighting's kind of bad. Sorry about that. I'm kind of in my little golf room area, but I decided to do a what's in the bag. So here we go. So starting off with my putter. It's the Spider X putter right there. Look at that. Um, I just got a new putter, new wedges, and new irons. I'm supposed to be getting new woods, so hybrid, three wood, and driver um, in May. But as of right now, I kind of got some hand me down, so bear with me. But this is the putter. Um, I don't have, I mean, I have my head cover, but it's in the other room. I don't want to go get it. So um, put that in the bag. By the way, I am rocking the uh, Tylus bag right here. Um, I forgot what bag it's called exactly, but yeah, it's a Titleist bag. I'm using my phone to record these videos, so I don't have a, I don't have a camera, but it is what it is. Uh, so, putter going in the bag. Now, I've got a, I'll show you my wedges here. I have a 60 degree, get a better view of that. Okay, got a 60 degree, um, it's a Vokey design, SM8 wedge. Um, again, it's pretty brand new, got it in, uh, um, got it in January, or December, I'm sorry. Got it in December. They've, they're kind of worn in because I've been hitting a lot with these lately, but um, yeah, I got a 60 and I got a 54, if you can see that. 54, um, 16 and 54. Got two wedges here and then I got a pitching wedge and a 48 degree. Um, it came with the whole iron set, the 48 degree, but it's become one of my favorite clubs. So anyway, going in the bag. Okay, now moving on. Like I said, I've got a 48 degree show you 48 degree um the reason i went 60 and 54 is because it's 60 54 48 and then my pitching wedge is 43 degrees and it says it on the club that's how i know it says it on the club right there very small so um and by the way these are the titleist t200 set right there titleist t200 um so that's that's what I've got. I got 43 and 48, so that's five degrees difference. And then the 48 to the 54 is six degrees difference. And then the 54 to 60 is six degree difference. So that's why I did it. Um, that way the loft is all this. You know, my uh, distances are at least close, um, and I can kind of fly them a little better. And yeah, so. Um, there's not a whole lot of uh, gapping between the between my iron, between my wedges. I'm sorry, between my wedges. So those are going in the bag. And again, the Titleist T200 irons. Uh, I like this black finish. Uh, I went with the black because um, the chrome type of finish, the the silver kind of color in the summer especially down here in texas where i'm at it it really glares off it and it blinds you like especially in the afternoons you go out there you line up for a shot the sun is just beating down on you and it just it just shines off in your eye and it hurts <laughs> and it does and it, all my confidence is shot after that so um that's why i went with the black and also they look really cool but the main reason was the just the coming back of my face. I didn't like that. Um, I believe these are graphite shafts. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but they look graphite shafts. I don't know the difference between shafts. Um, like I said, I'm a 17, 18 handicap. This is my third year playing golf, so still learning that. But this is the True Temper AMT S300 black shaft and Golf Pride grips. Uh, they're a little thicker because I got, I got kind of large hands, so the thick grips uh, works better for me. So that's why I went with that. Um, 
and we'll throw these bad boys in the bag as well. And my one thing that I was thinking about doing was going with the uh, kind of a mixed set. So my uh, um, five and four iron, four and five iron, were gonna be the T300, Titus T300, to give me more forgiveness, but I decided against that. Um, I saw that on the Golficity podcast. Um, I believe Frank did it, but you know, I just, I don't like how th the, the thickness of it. Um, it just doesn't look confidence inspiring to me. And so I decided to just stick with the 200s, T200s throughout the rest of the bag. Um, I also, I tried different clubs before fitted for me. I'm not just a Titleist guy, even though I really like Titleist, but I went in there very open-minded. I hit Callaway, I hit uh, TaylorMade, I hit all of them. And I really did like the, the TaylorMade, the blade that they got. I mean, the Callaway, the blade. Uh, it's the Callaway Forged, but I don't, it's not the, Ape, it's not the Apex, but I don't remember the name of it, but it was the, it was a Callaway iron and I liked the way it felt, but I asked the fitter and she said to go with the T200s because they would give me more forgiveness. And with me being kind of a mid to high handicap, um, the forgiveness is what I was kind of looking for. So I went with the T200s. I didn't go with the blades. I might go with the blades later on, but for now I, I like the, the forgiveness of the T200s. So anyway, that's why I went with that. Um, so let's see. Sometimes this bag gets very, you gotta mash it in there. Um, there's not a whole lot of room, which is kind of the downside of the bag. But yeah, let's see, yeah. So that's the downside, but whatever. It's okay. But I've got the TaylorMade. This is like a seven year old hybrid, but this is one of the favorite, my favorite clubs in the bag. It's the TaylorMade Burner HT Rescue. It's 19 degree uh, hybrid. It's a three hybrid. See right there. Um, my dad gave this to me as part of my first set. And my first set included Nike irons um, off the rack, not fitted even for him. They were Nike irons. But they worked pretty well for me starting out to begin. Um, but... Out of all those clubs, this one, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the shaft, the burner shaft, um, if it's the head. I don't know what it is. But since I've been playing, um, my dad said, I, so he gave me this club. And I didn't like this to begin with. I really didn't. But he gave this to me and he said, Adam, I know you don't like it now, but practice with it because this will be one of your favorite clubs in the back. And he's not wrong. It is still one of my favorite clubs. Um, I'm getting fitted for a new hybrid, a new three wood and a new driver. But man, I tell you, if, if it has to be well fitted because it'll be hard for me to give this up and I might not come away with a new hybrid. I'm going to be honest. I might not. Um, I will come away with a new uh, hybrid head cover because look at that that is just old and raggedy but I will I might not come away with the new uh new hybrid I might not because this has suited me well and it's still it's still good and anytime I need a punch shot like a long distance punch shot um or if an iron is it like if, if my irons aren't feeling good I will play like a knockdown hybrid um, and it just works for me. So this has been such a crucial club that's been in my bag. Um, and so I don't, I really don't want to get rid of it, but we will look at the new technology, the new clubs just to see, but I, I honestly, I might not come away with a new hybrid. So we'll see. Um, it does need some new grips. These are kind of getting kind of worn out. I might trade out the grips pretty soon, but 
the as far as club goes this might stay in the bag you never know by the way i got this hat from iron horse golf club my hair my hair is a mess i'm sorry but it's got the little iron horse logo on it and i thought that was cool um so i bought the hat and yeah so i've i've got this hat i've got a bunch of titleist hats but my other white one the whole rim has got like mud stains on it and stuff because i keep like i'll hit a bad shot and i'll wipe my hands and then i might adjust my cap and when i do that i get dirt stains on the cap so yeah i had to get a new white one but uh it, it looks nice i like this rim right here i like the little the little roping to it and i like the logo so i bought it there with my um match against uh Mike Richardson, it wasn't really a match. We were just playing together, but I'll probably have a match with him later. Anyway, uh, this is my three wood. It is a King F8 Cobra three wood. It says three to four fairway, but it plays more like a three wood. It's a 14 and a half degree right there. Um, I hate this club. I don't know. And I watched Golficity's Flusher three wood. Um, thing and it has helped their episode on flushing your three wood and it has helped their tips but i think the shaft is not good for me it is the 65r uh i don't know something shaft but it is very flimsy okay i hate that it it feels whippy um and the reason i got this shaft is because the other one uh, broke. It's the next gen MLT. But the other one broke. Um, yeah, so what happened was I got mad, and as golfers do, and I didn't snap it over my knee or anything, but I just kind of like hit the head into the ground, and it broke about there. And so I needed to get reshafted, um, and I got new grips on it right there, golf pride grips. I like these grips. They're very spongy, but... I don't, I hate this, this, this shaft. I thought I was going to love it and I liked it for the first little bit, but after a while, and especially after getting the new irons with the, the, the stronger shaft, the, um, uh, it's a stiffer shaft after getting those, this not okay. So I'm going to have to get that switched out. Even, even in that fitting, if I don't come away with a new three wood, if they say this is fine, I will need a new shaft. But I'll probably come away with a new three wood too. This is kind of a, this is just a hand me down from my dad. But um, yeah, I'll probably come away with a new one. I do need to clean this clean this head cover off though. It's a little worn. It's got dirt on it. It's been quite wet in Texas. Um, the conditions of the course has been wet. I think this is the first weekend that I got to go play that it wasn't wet. It was just really windy, but um, it wasn't wet. So. That was the first, this is the first weekend that I wasn't just playing in slop, but I guess the slop's been working because I shot my, uh, best ever nine holes of five over the other day. Um, and don't judge me again. I'm, I'm still working on my game, but five over through nine holes was a big accomplishment for me. Um, I only got to play nine holes cause the sun went down. I was like, can we get some floodlights out here? You know, let me, let me finish this 18, but uh, it is what it is. They wouldn't let me. So I just, I just kept nine holes. So it was fun though. And yeah, so this is, but the, the wet conditions, I guess has been working for me because I've been shooting some pretty good scores. Anyway, moving on from that, this is the driver that I'm working with. And so far out of all the drivers that I've ever had, this one's been the best. Man, this is really glary. I really am sorry, guys. I don't, I don't know why it's so glary. I don't know if it's the lighting in the room. That might be it. I don't know. We'll have to work on that. I got this overhead light and it might just be that, but we'll figure that out. Sorry for the lighting, but anyway, um, back to the driver. This has been the best driver that I've had. Again, hand me down from my dad. Pretty much all my drivers have been that. Um, but the very first driver I got from him, I don't remember 
what it was. Um, I remember it was a TaylorMade, but I don't remember the actual, the, the brand, the club. But I know I had an R11 um, from him. This was the second one I had, and that I hated. I could not stand the R11. I know a lot of people loved it. I hated that club. And I don't know if it was just because my swing wasn't there yet, but wow, I hated that club. But I this King F8, uh, F8 Plus, um, I don't know. It's a Cobra, but it's a King F8 Plus with a 10 and a half degree loft. And I believe you can adjust the loft, but the 10 and a half works for me. Um, and it's got a milled face right here. It says it right there. But anyway, this, this is the driver that my dad gave me and I've been rocking it since. It was a year ago with this hazardous uh, low spin uh, shaft in it and the golf pride grips, these little spongy golf pride grip, golf, sorry, golf pride grips. Um, but it has just been working for me. And especially now that I've kind of got it figured out, I don't slice it as much. Sometimes it happens, but um, I'm hitting more up on the ball, uh, a little bit more of a draw, sometimes more of a pull. But if my miss is left this year, I'm fine with it because I'm not hitting right. Um, so, yeah, this has been um, a pretty good addition. I think the new technology might help a little bit, and I'm excited to get my own driver. But it, if anything, it'll have to be more close to this one than my other ones just because this one has been helping the most. But and I think it might even just be this shaft, honestly, but who knows? That's what a fitting is for. But anyway, um, got the head cover that goes with it. Um, slide that on and put that in the bag. And I'll show you some of the golf balls that I've been playing. So I've been playing three different kind of golf balls all year. And I'll show you them. But I'm going to be playing another brand too, and I'll talk about that. But the first one is the, and I, I just got a green one here, but the Titleist Pro V1. That's upside down. I'm sorry this is backwards because I've got it facing me. Um, but this is the Titleist Pro V1 golf ball. I like the green. Um, I used to be a big fan of the white golf balls, but it's just something about the green, man. I mean, it just it just penetrates the air really nice, especially on cloudy days. You can really see it really well. Um, and even during the summer, like when it's blue skies, it just penetrates the, uh, the sky real well. Um, and you can see it better when it's on the grass. Um, but uh, I like the green. I like the Pro V1s. I've um, also been rocking the Pro V1Xs. I've been trying these out. Um, I know, uh, again, I listen to the Golficity podcast all the time, and they, they talk about being fitted for a golf ball and how crucial that is for your game. I have not been fitted for a golf ball. Um, I To me, it's not really um, a big, I guess, emphasis on my game right now. And... The main reason why is because I'm getting new clubs. Uh, I got a new bag. Been through it. Sorry, I've got burps, but been through all that fitting. And I play so much that I lose so many golf balls. I mean, I played every weekend this January. And then I hit balls all the time. So I lose so many golf balls at an 18, 17 handicap that, I mean, at this point, as long as it... For me, confidence-wise, as long as it says Titleist or Vice on it, I'm good. Those are the two golf balls that I'll play. Um, and it's just a confidence thing. Uh, I just feel comfortable with Titleist and Vice golf balls. Callaway, I don't. And it's not even, it's just I don't, I don't feel comfortable with it. it. I don't know why. I just don't. Anyway, enough rambling about that. But that is important for me. Confidence is everything. But I've got this orange ball, too. A Titleist Velocity Orange Ball. 
Uh, my friend Patrick gave it to me. Just fix that a little bit. My friend Patrick gave it to me. Um, and he got it was for Christmas present. And I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little clunky or clicky because they are a cheaper Titleist ball. They're not, you know, 50 bucks like a Pro V1. But I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Um, and they're really easy to find. Not a lot of people play the orange golf ball, so you don't have to mark it all the time, which is nice. But I've got, I'm about halfway through that bag. I got a whole bunch of them for Christmas and I'm already about halfway through. So it just goes to show you how often I play and how often I lose balls. I mean, I at least, at, a, at the handicap that I am, I lose quite a bit of golf balls. So um, that's why, that's another reason I play Vice is because they're cheaper and they do the same stuff as uh, Titleist, at least for confidence wise. So I got a couple different gloves that I have. This one is the Foot Joy. I don't know the exact brand, but the Foot Joy glove right here. And it looks like this. And it's one of the cheaper versions of it. And it doesn't have the same feel as the other ones. It's kind of it's kind of crackly, like kind of crunchy. But um, I use this mainly for practice. So, um, and it's not real clean because this is kind of an old glove. But yeah, that's what I use for practice. Best investment of the year. For as far as my golf uh, gear wise are these bad boys um, it's the foot joy winter gloves and the reason why these are awesome is because it's cold around this time of year and last couple years I'm like I need two gloves and I need warm gloves because I hate playing in the winter I mean I love playing in the winter but I hate the cold and so this this these have been a lifesaver um, and they're very durable and you don't lose that much feel, um, maybe a little bit cause they are thicker, but it's, it's still, it's still pretty much, um, the same as if you're wearing normal foot joy gloves. So, um, yeah, lifesaver. Um, so there's those. And then we've got this, the stay soft, uh, one that I use more for play when I'm playing rounds especially competitive rounds, and the Titleist glove, these two right here. Okay, these are my, they've got a lot more of a softer feel. And so um, I use them when I'm actually competing against somebody. I use this or these if it's really cold. Practice glove. So that's what I've got in the bag as far as gloves and balls. And so I don't have my... I usually carry like a like a, a rain jacket and this pocket right here if you can see it this big pocket okay that's usually where I have my rain jacket and I don't have it today because it's being washed but I always try to carry it along with this that co uh, covers the the clubs and those go in here and that's kind of my bad weather kit is what I call it um, and so that's just in case and then I got tees um, these are the tees that I'm using uh, I don't really worry about tees but I just found those so that's what I'm using right now I guess I keep a journal I'll go through this and I don't know where those went but I do keep a journal um, I keep a little golf journal uh, and it's got some of my scorecards on it scorecards in it um this is kind of worn out i'm gonna get a new one for 2021 but it kind of um it kind of i put some notes in here especially when i'm going through my pre-shot routine it just helps with a mental thing i don't even know it might be nothing it might be worth it it might not be but for me that's what i do I got an EpiPen. I'm allergic to wasps. So it's Texas. There are wasps. And so if I get stung, just pop that bad boy in. And um, if I need to go to the hospital, I can. But I'm, I'm pretty allergic to wasps. So um, I got this stuff called Sting Kill. Um, I saw it and I, I reference other podcasts because I, I listen to them. But 
this isn't a podcast, but I saw it on, um, I forgot the name of it, but they, they went over a whole, uh, they did like, they, he got stung and then he used this on it. Um, I don't remember the name of it. Someone help me out in the comments, but, um, this, these are really helpful, especially when you get bit by fire ants or, um, anything stung wise or whatever. And, um, I need to get new ones for this year, but they come in little, little pockets right here. They got a little, um, see this, a little cotton swab and you just break this and it just pure pours into that. And then you can just put it on. It's instant relief. Um, my girlfriend got, she's allergic to red wasps and she got all, I mean not red wasps, but, uh, fire ants and she got all into fire ants and we used this and it really helped, especially with the swelling. So I got some of those. I'm going to get some more for this year, but that's kind of my first aid thing. I always carry that first aid, a small first aid kit, just, um, just in case you never know. You could fall, you could, uh, scrape your knee, uh, stung by a wasp, you know, animal attack. I don't know. It's golf, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of my, what's in the bag. Um, and this is the bag again. And I usually have, I have like straps right here so I can carry them, but they're being washed cause they're really muddy. Like I said, the conditions have been really wet and I'll have a towel, two towels clipped here, one for my face, one for my clubs. And so, yeah, that's my what's in the bag. That's what I'm rocking this year. Um, hopefully get a uh, range finder or like a, like a shot scope watch, something like that. Maybe help my game a little bit. Maybe not. Who knows? Um, but yeah, thank you guys for keeping in touch with me, keeping in touch with my golf game. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.